The work that we're doing, which is funded by meningitis now, relates to Group B Streptococcus, which uh, is the leading cause of uh, meningitis in the first three months of life in the UK and uh, other developed countries. Uh, this is a very exciting area because there is a potential vaccine that can be implemented to reduce the significant burden of disease that we currently see uh, due to group B strep. And that vaccine is a conjugate vaccine and one that would be uh, administered in pregnancy. Uh, in general, pregnancy vaccines over the last few years have been increasingly uh, adopted and there's been renewed enthusiasm about vaccination in pregnancy. Uh, before that, there was uncertainty uh, about vaccination in pregnancy because of the potential theoretical risks. But uh, particularly in light of the pandemic influenza, where that vaccine was then recommended in pregnancy because of their high burden of disease, uh, the acceptance of, of vaccines in pregnancy has increased considerably. Since then, we've introduced the uh, pertussis, the whooping cough vaccine in pregnancy in the UK, and that has been uh, taken up by around about 60% of pregnant women, which is, I think, remarkable. So with that background, introducing a new vaccine uh, against Group B Streptococcus uh, is, is quite exciting because it suggests that it also will be taken up in pregnancy um, by, by pregnant women and, the, and their partners. And that's important because Group B Streptococcus uh, causes disease in the first three months of life, but particularly in the first couple of days of life. So there's no real other opportunity to use a vaccine um, before the onset of disease other than in pregnancy.